How can you overcome sadness as fast as possible? Let's find out. So by the way, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Lots of great videos coming up. Don't miss out. Tip number one, compare yourself to somebody else who is less fortunate than you are. Why are you sad right now? Because you're probably watching this video because you're either sad right now or because you're consistently sad about certain things. Are you sad because you didn't get the job you want, the customers that you wanted, you know, the boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife that you wanted? Don't get me wrong, I feel for you, yeah? These are all critical things we can be sad about, but you gotta put it in some perspective. There are people who are much less fortunate than you are. You know, if you live in a wealthy country, yeah, and if you live in one of the top 50 countries in the world, you live in a wealthy country. And there are so many millions, even billions of people around the world who are much worse off than you are. Yeah, so get some perspective. Next time you're sad about something, yeah, focus on, okay, is there somebody else who's worse off? Yeah, do I really have to be sad? Because they're less fortunate. Hey, I have I got this abundance in my life, right? If you got a TV, if you got a roof over your house, you're more fortunate than other people. So put your sadness in perspective. Number two, the second fastest way to jump and snap yourself really out of sadness is to help somebody else. When you are sad, who are you focused on? Me, 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 me. True, you're only focusing on yourself. Gotta let that go, gotta let that go. Next time the urge or the need really to feel sad comes, yeah, focus on who can I help? What can I do for somebody else? The moment you focus on service, yeah, and I don't mean you have to serve somebody else, but in many ways you do, <laughs> yeah. But support somebody else, help somebody else. Yeah, could it be a friend, a family member, right? Somebody from work. Who can you focus on? Who might need your help? The moment you focus on helping somebody else, you're not focused on yourself anymore, you're focused on them, and I guarantee you the sadness will be gone. Number three, get busy doing things that you like, that you enjoy, that you enjoy doing. When we're sad, we're usually so focused on the negative, the things that don't work out in our life and in our career. Yeah, and that's what you're sad about. Don't do it. Yeah, the moment the urge and the need and the feeling of sadness arises, move on. Focus on something that you enjoy doing. Yeah, is it meeting friends? Is it going for a walk? Is it doing one of your favorite sports? Could be watching a movie, playing a game. I don't know what it is for you, but we all have things that we enjoy. So what is it for you? Next time you feel sad, do something outrageous, something that's fun, you know, go dancing for all that I know. If you don't, right now it's Corona time, so you can probably do, not go anywhere dancing, yeah? So turn the speaker up, your favorite song, and dance crazy. Yeah, the worse you dance, the wilder you have to dance. <laughs> I'm a terrible dancer, by the way. <laughs> yeah, but try that out. Next time you feel sad, do something that's fun. Focus on doing, not thinking. So share with me and comment below one time, which of these three tips are you going to use to overcome your sadness as fast as possible now? Yeah, share it with me. Again, if you haven't done it yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, I really look forward to seeing you for the next video.